Well, breaking news tonight, that massive fire and a huge plume you may have seen rising over the Angeles Forest this afternoon. The flames forcing evacuations. An intense situation playing out at the base of the mountain as family members tried to reach relatives who are camping out there but can't get to them. Well, KKL News reporter Tom Waite is live in Glendora now with the very latest on the Fork Fire. Evening, Tom. And good evening to you, Pat and Juan. Well, as you said, this was a huge and dangerous fire. It still is. They're still battling it. And also, as you said, there was chaos and confusion here along Highway 39. You can see the checkpoint just behind me. It's where police and firefighters are turning people back who are trying to reach family members up there. Remember, cell phone service is very spotty if there is any at all. So people were very worried when they couldn't get back up the mountain. The plume of smoke was visible across L.A., a fire raging in the Angeles National Forest, forcing evacuations of homes and campgrounds. Two children even had to be hoisted out by helicopter by the L.A. County Sheriff because of smoke inhalation. Your family is safe. A tense situation playing out on Highway 39 at the base of the mountains as families were trying to head up the hill to meet relatives at campgrounds. You family up there? Yeah, they are ready everything over there. They're asking for proof. How am I supposed to get proof? This father came down the mountain to charge his EV. His son still at the campground. The father told he was not allowed to go back up. I just came down for, for charging. I left my, my 16 year old up there. And he has no way. He thinks I'm going to be back up there in, in about an hour and a half. So I'm just worried that he's going to camp by himself and you know, waiting for me. And Deputies ultimately let the man go find his son. Flames broke out around 3.30 Friday afternoon. The fire ignited in a remote area, rugged and unforgiving terrain. Firefighters attacked it from the air and brought in ground units from multiple fire departments. Johnny Aguirre was also trying to reach his family. I was just up there this morning and I just came back down to pick up my nephew. Came back over here and, um, you know, this was shut down. So we're just waiting here and I don't know what's going on. Aguirre's family got down the hill, the tense situation clearly taking a toll. We came down because they've been gone for seven hours. Yeah. The intense firefight made even more difficult because of the searing heat. Heat is a big factor within fighting fire along the fire itself. Um, but the biggest uh, difficult challenge we have is the terrain and the type of vegetation, including the chaparral and grass uh, fuel we have. The AQMD issued an air quality alert saying there could be unhealthy air through the weekend because of this fire in the areas of the San Gabriel Mountains and also the San Bernardino Mountains. Also, we should tell you, Highway 39, according to the Forest Service, will be closed, at least from this side where we are in Glendora. So there are still people trying to get through right now, coming to this checkpoint, being turned around, again, closed all weekend. Reporting live in Glendora here, Tom Waite. Back to you in the studio. Closed all weekend. Good to know, Tom. Thank you.